mic is muted. Hold on. Uh, hopefully you can hear me now. Let me check my settings. Okay, looks like we're good. All right, hello, hello. How about now? Still no sound? Might. Okay, settings. Okay, hold on. Thank you. All right, now it says it's on the iPhone microphone. How about now? Yeah, now you can hear me? Okay, good. 
I had to not use my AirPods. There's a lot of funky stuff happening today. I don't know why you can't recognize my AirPods, but okay. So thanks for letting me know, you guys. <laughs> All right. So um, here we go. Let's go back down and around. I'm going to need, I just went on art resin and typed in the sizes of my substrates. I've got two eight by tens. I forgot what size this was but I think I, I just uh, typed in six by six. I'm going to, um, I think I'm gonna do six ounces of resin. I think that should be good. So, um, oh, let me just adjust this tiny bit. Yeah, all right. So um, I know, you know, most of the members know how to do resin, but because I'm selling my classes individually and we get newbies, we get new people that come in all the time. Uh, we're going to go through how to mix, uh, measure, and pour resin. So I'm going to go grab my art resin over here. And I guess what I need to do is come up with a way for the camera to see what I'm doing over here. Let's see, that's my that's my chair making that strange sound. All right, let's do this. Sorry if I'm making you seasick. Okay, yeah, I can just mix my resin right here, right? Um, any more comments? Um, 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 got sound, y'all have fun. I think I've got this. Yeah, you've got this part, <laughs> Jane. And I know the Procreate class is starting in a few minutes, so I didn't mean to interrupt with Shelly's. Um, Shelly's going to go live at 1 o'clock for the Procreate group. So um, I'm going to get myself a graduated cylinder cup and some gloves. Stir stick. And uh, we're going to mix this up. So I'm not going to go into all the real major detail that I normally go into. Um, if you are a newbie and you've signed up for this class, there will be more details that you can ask about in the classroom. Um, OK, so we've got the graduated cup. Let me open this up. I like to take a few of these out because you know how that is. Well, maybe you don't. It's a pain grabbing these out of here when you've got resin all over your gloves, right? So I'm just going to have two of them out. And those are from Dollar Tree. Okay, so first off, we want to carefully pour our resin. Hey, 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 Diana. Uh, I ordered the cups on Amazon. You know, just look up graduated uh, resin cups. These are by Pixis. Pixis. Okay, so um, I decided on six ounces, so I'm going to put three ounces of resin. Wipe that off. Put the lid back on right away. Grab my hardener. Pour that in. You want to you want to make sure that you are looking at the line at eye level. Take your time. This is really important that you do this part right. Slow down when you get close to the point where you're stopping. And of course, you know, it raises up a little bit more. Um, after it flattens out, so keep that in mind. And then we're going to stir this. Somebody needs going to need to time me if you don't mind. Who can time me? And so we're going to stir this 
gently, slowly for three minutes. KS Resin wants you to stir for four minutes. Okay. And I've got a silicone coated um, stir stick. So I like to, um, you know, scrape the sides, grab the cup and turn it. Scrape, pull up from the bottom, turn it. And of course you start to see these like cloudy lines. It's, it's like cloudy and clear striations. That means that chemical reaction is starting, which is a good thing. And it will change, it will become clear later. So, oh, it looks like this piece, sorry, I'm gonna pause a second and fix a piece that looks like it got moved somehow. Part of my rose got moved. <laughs> uh, thank you, Christina. Thank you, thank you. And uh, I asked the members, which way do you stir, clockwise or counterclockwise? <laughs> and of course, we're all so obsessive. <laughs> I had two or three people say that they stir clockwise and then they stir counterclockwise. Talk about being thorough, right? <laughs> oh, too funny. So um, yeah, I'm excited about these three pieces. Um, I really am. And I hope that you'll sign up for this class. It's a fun one. I had to change the name of it, a friend of mine. I didn't realize that using the word sacred heart would be offensive. And so, I mean, because it's, you know, a, a sacred Catholic term. So I changed it to folk hearts. I changed the name of the class. And, um, I, I would never want to offend anybody, especially over something like that. I'm, you know, I'm very much a lover of Jesus and a, a Christian, and um, I did not mean to blaspheme. So, um, this is really, you know, folk art. Um, the idea of a heart. Um, and it came from, you know, seeing that they, they refer to it as, um, mir what was it again? Miracle? Does the top of the bottles get gunked up at all? And do they have to be cleaned so they don't get contaminated? The top of the bottles, you mean the resin bottles? Um, I, mine don't get gunked up because I guess I wipe them off um, every time. I would be careful about cleaning them with something because you might get it inside your resin. So, okay, now I'm gonna stir the other way. I'm gonna be like, uh... <laughs> we have one more thing in common. What is that, Diana? Oh, we're all the same. We just look different on the outside, right ladies? <laughs> we really are. Um, so this resin feels just a little bit thick today. Um, I'm in south, southeast Wisconsin, and um, it's a little cold out. I think I have my, my temperature in my home at 72. Been three minutes, thank you. Okay. All right. If you're in a cold area, uh, you need to give it a hot bath. I do have a lot of air bubbles in there. Um, it's going to happen. I say, don't worry about it too, too much. All right, which one do I want to do first? Let's do, um, let's do the beach one first. Uh-oh, somebody just sent me a message. Uh, can't really look at that right now. Okay. Let me fix this just a little bit. Are we centered now? <clears throat> So these are shells that one of the members sent me. Oh, and these, for the first time, I'm using actual drips. Oh, we're upside down, aren't we? I'm using actual drips <laughs> from my resin table. 
crazy, right? Uh, hold on, let me get us centered. Actually, you know what? I'm so sorry. I'm going to do this and I'm going to flip. Oh, no, I can't flip the camera because I'm on StreamYard. Oh, my gosh. So, so sorry. With all the craziness. Here, let's just do this and slide the camera over. Just don't want to knock my resin over. Hi. So um, these are oysters and shells that she sent me. And then I've got some um, <laughs> stars that I made out of uh, resin molds. And what else do I have? Still trying to get us centered here. Is that better? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, how's that? Hey, you may. Because it's all backwards, it's just really hard to tell. Okay, and I don't know if you can tell what this is, but this is, you know, artist heart. This is my artist heart. This this is a Procreate uh, iPad pencil. <laughs> I know it doesn't totally look like one, but that's okay. This is just for me anyway. And a paintbrush and, of course, a pair of nippers because I just love doing glass and resin art. And these are supposed to be like flames coming out around the sides. And these are just a couple of roses and some stars and stuff. All right, so which one should I resin first? Maybe, maybe the beachy one. We're finally all centered, yay. Hey, Carlotta, I love the red heart one. Is there a painting tutorial? Yes, there is a painting tutorial on that one. I did, I did teach that one in the, uh, in the class. All right, so let's go. Let's get started. So I'm just going to stir this one more time. Now, when I pull from here, I'm going to pull from the center of my cup. Let it kind of drip off a little bit and just start streaming this on here. And a thin stream covering everything is going gonna, is gonna to work the best if you can do that. So it requires kind of some thoroughness, paying attention to where you started because it it gets kind of confusing after a little while, but um, if you have a little tiny um, light, uh, what do they call those lights now? Um, halogen light, you know, the, the really bright lights that, that, that we have nowadays. If you shine that on here and just really, you know, really, really scrutinize what you're doing, take your time, you'll get it all covered and it'll all seep down and everything will be anchored and it, it won't, it won't lift up. You don't need to, I didn't glue any of this. You can glue it. I just, I don't have the patience a lot of times to, to glue it. Is this showing up okay? Yeah, I guess it is. So there was a lot of technique involved with doing this background on this one. And if you want to learn how to do that, uh, I did demonstrate it. I think it's pretty cool. It's not too complicated, but again, I like, you know, I like teaching that kind of stuff in the, in my classes. New cool little things you can do. Now I'm not worried about the sides right now because I can actually, since it's a wood substrate, I can actually sand the sides you know, later and sand off. I did, you know, I did get some of this colorant that I used on the top. It did seep over and go onto the sides of the substrate. So I'll just deal with that later. So I am going to, you know, bring the resin around 
the sides and do the sides. I think. Well, you know what? Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to probably wind up sanding all that off. So it is going to drip over the sides, and I'm just not going to worry about it. A couple different ways you can deal with the sides of substrates. And um, I have tried them all. This is the lazy approach. <laughs> oh. So I've been taking some Pilates classes, and they're kicking my butt. Oh, my goodness. Like, literally. And then what is it called when you do, like, um, when you're doing, like, a push-up but from your elbows? What are those called again? Oh, my God. Those are killer. Um, so, like, all these muscles are so sore. <laughs> and I've just been, like, super tired. Oh, I hope those drips don't completely disappear, my resin drips. They might, huh? They look like they just disappeared. Well, uh, it's the first time I'm doing that, so what do I know? And um, these oysters were already resined by uh, Joanne. Joanne is the one who sent them to me. Thank you, Joanne. And um, so they're getting a second coat of resin. I don't know, it'll be interesting to see if those drips disappear or what. Have you ever used um, resin drips in your in your art comment below um, I was watching this YouTube video and they say smash the like button smash it <laughs> I don't know where that came from saying smash it but I like it I like the word smash we don't get to use that word too often right <laughs> okay so that, I think I got it all covered. Let's go on to the next one. How much resin did I use? Um, two ounces. Yeah. See, and I think it said three ounces for an eight by 10. I'm like, okay, come on now, art resin. Really don't think I need three ounces for an eight by 10. And apparently I didn't. Oops, I just dripped a whole bunch off the side. Okay. So let's start with this one yay this is going to make the color really come out on here i bet yeah carlotta i um i'm surprised you didn't know about the painting tutorial for this one Again, a lot of technique involved with creating this background, but um, not too hard, really. Let's do the roses. Nice thin stream, get this all covered. Hopefully, I always get a little nervous that I'm going to run out of resin. That still, that still plagues me. <laughs> and that has happened to me on a live where I ran out of resin and had to mix more. Ugh, not fun. But I suppose better that it happens to me than you, right? I don't know, I may not have enough to tell you the truth. 
See, when we get up to the top there, I can I can spread it because there's nothing, you know, there's nothing that I need to drizzle around. I can just spread all of this. But when you have pieces, um, you have to you have to drizzle them like this. Just get everything covered. So yeah, my my friend thought that these were worms. That somehow she thought something was worms. I don't know. Maybe she thought the nippers were worms. I, I, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Why would anybody have worms coming out of a heart? But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what she meant by that. I, you know, I just knew I didn't want to offend her. So I just didn't say anything more about it. Just let's just move on. Change the name of the class so it won't offend you and have a good day. Right? I mean, what can you do? Yeah, I'm still nervous that I won't have enough resin for the third one. So the nice thing about working with um, wooden substrates is that you can just kind of pull the resin right up to the edge, although I'm not an expert at this, and it won't necessarily leak over onto the side, although I guess I did have a couple of drips just go over. But I can wipe those off with the baby wipe. Get that right to the edge. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have enough for the third one. It's too close. I think, I don't know. I think, I think it did say one ounce for a six by seven, which I don't even know for sure that's a six by seven. It's exactly an ounce. Uh, I don't know if I should do it. Should I try it? I guess I could try it. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. And I can always rob Peter to pay Paul, right? Sometimes I do that and I'll take some resin off of one and stick it on another. Like there's a ton of resin right in here. So let me just grab some of this and steal it and put it over here. I still am not gonna have enough though. Oops. Knock that over. All right, let's try it. 
Is this third one showing up? Not really. Wow, that does look pretty, doesn't it, on camera? Slide you over here. That's my dog, Charlie. Oh, 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 I keep hitting stuff. <laughs> Sorry if I'm making your dogs bark. Your dogs are going to start barking because my dog's barking, right? Maybe it's the garbage guys that he's barking at. Today's garbage day. Yeah, I kind of need a little bit more, I think. It's close. Maybe I over poured on the other two. So anyway, all right, let's mix up a little bit more resin. So what I would do if this happens to you and you don't quite have enough, because, you know, you got to make sure you have enough so that it won't. Um, so that you won't have pieces that aren't going to glue down, you know. So I would just get a new cup and start in a, with a new cup. So let me just make another ounce. Um, yeah, let's just make another ounce real quick. Sorry, guys. I kind of kind of boring having to watch me do this again. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> uh, well, when in doubt, it's better to have more and have some small um, molds on the side. All right, so I really only really want half of this. So I'm kind of eyeballing this. Half resin and half 
hardener to make one more ounce. And of course, I still have to mix this for three minutes. So if somebody wants to time me again. Ugh. Okay, let's see. I have 107 over there. And KS resin doesn't want you to mix less than two ounces, but I don't think art resin has a problem with it. Yeah, I'll feel a lot better having having a little bit extra. So I can't really touch my screen right now to see if there's comments, but maybe I can read them upside down. Um, never boring. You guys are so nice. Let's see. Christina says, what are you going to do with all your gummy bears? <laughs> you know, um, I should do something for Valentine's Day with them, right? I saw it when I first saw that there were even molds for gummy bears. I saw it on TikTok and it's a teacher and she makes them, she sells them too, but she makes them for her students. So the students that complete their homework assignments get gummy bears. Isn't that great? <laughs> This has a ton of air bubbles and it looks clear already, but it probably is thoroughly mixed. Kind of scraping off my, um, my stir stick because I had previous resin mixture on that. And I didn't, I didn't wipe off my stir stick. I didn't really feel like that was necessary. So there's a ton of air bubbles in this, but you know, I really don't mind that. Um, but yeah, I had to get this class completed so that I can go on to my uh, brown bear class, which we've started. Um, yeah, well, Christina, you do you teach with kids, right? Maybe that would be um, an idea for you too. They have these gummy bear molds at Hobby Lobby. I think it's I think it's done. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to have I think a little bit longer. Well, still a minute left. Okay. <laughs> um, alrighty, I will keep stirring. I'm gonna put the camera back over here though. So on my first one, I did not use the interference paint. It's, you know, it's Payne's gray and then interference paint on top. And um, I can't grab that one to show you right now because my hands are full of resin. But if somebody reminds me, I'll show you that one. Time's probably up by now, right, Christina? Let me check. Okay, good. All right. so. Let's finish and then we'll just make sure that we got in all these nooks and crannies that I was kind of skimping on to tell you the truth. You can't really skimp with this because the whole, you don't want the pieces to fall off when you go to pick them up. Wow, you can see all those air bubbles. So no big deal doesn't take long to mix more.
Oops. Now I can use a toothpick to get that back into position. And the resin just kind of pulls everything together. It looks weird now while it's resin, but I promise you. Well, I'll show you the finished, the other one, you know, the finished one, and you'll see. Clear stuff just looks like it's disappearing. Um, you know, when you have wet resin on it. So you can pull it right up to the edge and it really won't go over. Okay. I'm going to just pour a little bit more into these crevices just to really CYA as they say. Okay. I think we're totally covered now. So now um, we're ready to use a heat gun to get rid of all the air bubbles or the majority of air bubbles, I should say, right? Oh, it looks nice on camera. All right. So I'm just wiping my hands off with the uh, baby wipe. And I'm gonna grab a blue shot towel and dry my hands. Oh, I see. It's a good time, too, to just double check if anything moved. Sometimes stuff can actually move when you're drizzling the resin on it. Okay, looks good. So I'm going to grab my uh, flame torch. Here it is. And let's do this one first. So I'm going to try and keep it at a distance. All right, that got rid of a lot of air bubbles. Let's slide over. I see a dust particle in here already. Didn't get rid of all of them, but it got rid of a lot of them for sure. I'm trying to get us centered here. Okay. All right, here we go. And, and this is an art resin uh, flame torch. It's pretty nice, actually. I like it. So there's no plastic or acrylic stuff on this one, so I'm not as afraid to get a little close. Um, but this has a lot of uh, acrylic on it, so I'm trying not to get too, too close. And I actually don't even mind if I have some air bubbles on this one because it is water after all, and there would be bubbles in the water, right? Yeah, I don't know if those are gonna wind up looking like bubbles. I guess not. Maybe I should have colored them. But anyway, that's it. Um, last step would be to just go around and um, get rid of any like pieces of um, debris with a toothpick. Man, that beach piece is pretty. That, that did turn out nice. It was fun too. So do you guys want to see the reveal? I'll have to reveal these tomorrow. Ooh, 
tree that is pretty. Trying to make them not look like they're all lined up. All right. I think that's it. I can't wait to see these. Oh, my goodness. So then for cleanup, that's really it as far as resin goes. For cleanup, you know, you could just wipe up. All, I mean, I, I get rid of the I get rid of the cups. I just throw these out. Um, oh, I do have quite a bit left in here. So let's make a gummy bear or two. So I'm going to grab some mica powder. Uh, that's cool. I didn't, you didn't know Art Resin had the, the torch? Yeah. Thank you, Christina. You're so nice. How are you feeling? I did these blue ones. I don't know if you saw the blue ones. Look at how cute. Well, it's not going to really show up that well on my glove. <laughs> but look how cute. Uh, yep, yeah, Christmas morning. I know, right? We love our Christmas morning. So what we mean by that is the next day... <laughs> At least 12 hours later. That's not really touchable for 12 hours. Oh, I wonder what they would look like in silver. I, have, I don't have any silver ones. Um, so basically, yeah, we just, um, that's what we call it. <laughs> the next morning, 12 hours later, we, uh, you know, you come down and you get to see your beautiful stuff that you made. Oh, this one's not even open. Um, a friend gave me all these. Somebody just didn't want them anymore. Can you believe it? Um, I need to get just a small amount of this out of here. I need like a tiny little... Uh, um, cocaine spoon. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't even say that word. <laughs> Get in trouble on uh, YouTube. That's probably way too much. Well, maybe not. Oh, they're probably going to look kind of funky. Oh, they just look dirty. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see. If I could add, oh, this would have been a cool color, this pewter color. But oh, well, I'm going to have a. Um, I don't know, gray, some gray teddy bears. And yes, I need to get some pipettes. It's just so weird. It's almost like I had an ounce of resin left over. How is that? <laughs> I don't know. I just felt nervous. I just felt like I wasn't going to have enough resin going into all the little crevices, you know, because those are some big hunks of, um, of glass. You know, you have to make sure you have enough to cover all that, right? I don't know, for some reason it doesn't want to go into the ears. Oh my goodness, I'm making a ton of teddy bears. I 
Yeah, Christina, let me know if you come up with an idea of what I could do with my gummy bears. I mean, I like making them. I give them as gifts, you know, these little little freebies um, with customer orders. Oh, there we go. That looks good. Six little gummy bears. Okay, so then I'm just going to toss this and just wipe this off. And, of course, you should cover this stuff that you have resined. And there's, there's all different ways that people in our group use, you know, to cover to cover the art. But, oh, I see some, I see some uh, funkiness. I need to get off of there. So, okay, I'm going to use some 91% alcohol and wipe this down a little bit better. Okay, and that's done. Make sure all that's off of there. Put this away. Okay, so what you do is just grab a toothpick and, you know, really closely scrutinize. So let's come back over here. So that's mica powder mixed with resin and put in a mold. Yeah, exactly. And um, you can get mica powders like this at Hobby Lobby. And you just don't want to put too, too much in. Like I say, I don't know, 10% or something. I don't know. Um, a skosh. Put a skosh in. You're okay. <laughs> All right. I see. So from the side, it's almost like a little hair. And you just want to... I see now bubbles have come up again. So I'm going to hit that again. Um, this looks totally fine. The beachy one looks totally fine. Oh my God. I love the beachy one. I just don't know what's going to happen with the resin drips. Christina, have you ever done resin drips? What's going to become of my resin drips? Even if they do disappear, it's not going to be the worst thing in the world. You know? Okay. So, oh, I still see. And sometimes that might actually be a little bit of glass debris. And, and the only way to avoid that would be to br literally brush the whole thing off with a paintbrush before you resin. You know, which I did do that, but I don't know. Maybe I missed something. All right, so that's it. Let me turn the camera up. Let's see which way. Um, I guess I can just go this way. So what do you think? I know, I can't believe it. My friend Dale gave me all that mica powder. You should have a contest to guess how many gummy bears you have. <laughs> oh, what are resin drips? Oh, resin drips here. Let me turn the camera back down. I mean, I'm calling them resin drips. So see this on my table right here? Here's a resin drip where I previously dripped resin on my table. And I just popped it up off of there and literally put it on my artwork. But... Um, it's funny, when you resin over it, it disappears. <laughs> but it might reappear later. I mean, you can kind of see divots in the resin. I don't know if it's going to show. There's, there's a bunch of, uh, if you go back to the beginning of the video, you'll see that there are drips that I put on there. They're, they're probably going to just disappear, but oh well. And so I'm not even worrying about the drips going down the sides of any of these substrates. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to wind up sanding them off, so I'm not worried about it. The best thing you can do if you're doing a resin project and you um, don't want to have to deal with actual resin dripping down is to just tape the sides. You know, just tape it with um, your favorite painter's tape. Some of the members really like the blue painter's tape, 
and a lot of them, um, some members really like, really prefer the um, duck, the green one, the duct tape, I think it's called. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you want to sign up for Aggie's Folk Hearts class, we would love to have you. Um, I don't think I have it on my, I'm going to put it on my Etsy and on my Square Up shop. Just um, contact me, email me at agnesfriedlander.com. I mean, agnesfriedlander at Gmail. My website is agnesfriedlander.com. You're welcome to go check out my stuff there. Um, I also have a membership. It's $37 a month. It's going to be going up soon. Um, like 150 classes sitting there waiting for you and the support of 140 women, like-minded women. And we have a great time and they all really love the membership. I love them. It's just good all the way around. <laughs> so we do two projects a month. This month we're doing three. Um, so yeah, some months, some months there's more, there's more freebies and stuff. And so anyway, enough about that. I'm gonna let you go. Have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.